Hey everybody, welcome out to another episode of Windshield Time at Mountain Land Supply. I am Joey. I'm here with Brandon, our CEO. Hey everyone. We're also joined by Spencer Shorts, extraordinaire. That's right. That's enough out of you. Uh-huh. And today we are joined by Ron Hogan. Welcome. <laughs> good, good to be here. Middle name? Uh, middle name is Broadbent. Really? Really? Mm-hmm. So is that a mother's maiden name? It or? is my. It's my father's middle name. Oh. But it also comes from my father's. It's a maiden name for in his. In his line. Line. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. Well, where so Ronald Broadbent Hogan. Correct. Okay. Ronald, Ronald. B. Hogan. Ronald B. Quick. Ronald jumped over the candlestick. I don't know where you come up with that, but that's pretty quick. <laughs> that's what I use for my name, Joey B. Little. Joey B. Little. Well, Joseph, so, yeah. So, yeah. Um, where, where did you grow up? Born and raised in Alpine, Utah. So are you related to the Broadbents up there? Uh, no, I know them. I actually went to high school yeah, and played was... ball with Danny and the, a lot of the Broadbents that were from Alpine Fireplace. Well, they're, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. okay. So my, I mean, they're older than me, but uh, considerably. Uh, Dan, Danny's not. Well, Danny's younger than me. So he's still older than me. No, that's probably true. So nice to come home, home to. to. Yep. Do they yeah. still do those? We actually had one in my house growing up. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. But yeah. We, I, I used to love Alpine commercial. Fireplace? Uh-huh. Yeah, we had two in our house. Did you? Yeah. yeah. We They were retrofitted yeah. into uh, wood uh, wood fireplaces, but they were used to retrofit Like them. a gas insert? Yeah. Oh, so I grew, cool. I grew up in Highland. Yeah. And yeah. so I knew the Broadbent. I a, think a stone's throw for people besides you. You could chuck a stone from Highland to Alpine. <laughs> well, they, back in the day, it was all the same. We were all yeah. We were all just farm, so. Did you farm go to and farm American Hicks. Fork High? American yeah. Fork High School. Okay. What what elementary did you go to? Alpine Elementary. I went to Alpine Elementary for a year. Did you? And then I went to Highland Elementary. Okay. So so because we were we were living in Texas when I was younger, and then we came here, and uh, we were actually going to build an Alpine. Now people need to realize when you hear Alpine and Highland. It's not the Alpine Highland that oh, we not, know today. Not no. even close. It, it was a farming community, yep. and nobody wanted to move there because it was too windy and too rocky. Yeah. And, and away from everything. Exactly. It was like out in the boonies, right? And so um, my family was considering building a house up in Alpine, and they were getting ready with Patterson. Okay. Um, ready to sign the papers, and my parents actually drove by a house in Highland, and it was a— uh, It was already for sale. Well, it had been taken over by the, the bank. The bank. Oh. Yeah. And so the at Lehigh Bank, and they had just, they were getting bought out by First Security, I think it was. Okay. The, within a week, and so my parents really? went down there and asked them about it, and they said, "Yeah, this is the what we would need," and it was like the bare minimum. And so my parents said, "Yeah, we'll take it." Awesome buy. And so that's how we we actually ended up in Highland. Which, huh. which part? Which part of Highland? Uh, southwest. So, um, do you know there's so Costco and Lehigh. If you okay. go up that hill, you come up to the top, and you come to that four-way stop, and there's that church that's kind of. Uh-huh. So I grew up right there. That used to be by, by Strasburg Park. Uh, Strasburg Park's about a mile away. To the east. I'm southwest from there, from okay. Strasburg Park. I'm like literally on the border, border. of Highland, American Fork, and Lehigh. Lehigh. Yeah. So there's an elementary school that's there right now that's pretty close. Freedom uh, Elementary. Just south of that. Okay. So at that four-way stop, just south of it. Okay. That's where I grew up. Did the cooks live close yep. to you? Yep. yep. Okay. Yep. So did you grow up with did, the Did you know uh, Bruce Cook? Uh-huh. That he passed away. Yeah, I knew that. Yeah, yeah. And then his older sister, Jody. Jody? Yep. She, they, passed, uh, just, she passed away with yep, cancer and her, as well. Yep. Mm-hmm. Anyways, they, so anyway, they, we'll have to talk about that, but Bruce yeah. is a... He was. They were. He they was were the, the ar- archery people. Yep. Humphreys Archery. Our Humphreys Archery. Humphreys yep. Gas. gas. Yep. Mm-hmm. Down there. But Bruce was a phenomenal, phenomenal guy. One of the best guys I ever knew. And tragic snowmobiling accident yeah. just two years ago. You know what? I didn't know that. I actually played a little bit of, of ball with him. Okay. But, but so yeah. he lives right there still, and my mm-hmm. my mom actually still lives in that house. And oh. anyways, he he was a he was the bishop, mm-hmm. and I mean he had been released, but I mean he just yeah. one Good of dude. the one of the best people I've ever met in the whole entire world. And I mean just a tragic accident. So. Mm-hmm. Until you met me. Well, that's tragic anyways. Yeah, yeah tra- that's tragic like in a sad way. You're tragic in a bad way. In a bad way. <laughs> so when you say play ball, baseball? Base, uh, baseball, basketball, bantam. Like back yeah. in the day, I mean, it's not like I'm a super athlete, but you, everybody played everything. Yeah. And there was like one team in Alpine. Yeah. So, yeah. 
basically. Yeah. Like, got, you're big into like baseball. I know that softball, I, not playing softball, but like I did. Co- I did before my kids were big, yeah. younger or older. But yeah. But then, as your kids were growing up, I know that you had mm-hmm. like a ton I, to do with Lehigh softball with the girls, right? Correct. I coached my daughters yeah. through both you know, all the way up and stuff like that. Yeah. So now, did you? Because now you live in Lehigh. Uh, still lived in Lehigh at the time. I've lived in Lehigh the whole time. Oh, well, since you, I got married. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. Now, you live in Lehigh now, so. Mm-hmm. So uh, did you play uh, fast pitch softball? No, I did Slow not. pitch, okay. I did like off the, like year two. That's legit, man. But not not like. like Competitive. Like, competitive. Yeah. Like the city league type stuff. I sure. did a year or two, but that was it. Fast pitch softball is legit. There's, there's actually quite a few of the HVAC guys that did it in the past, right? That's right. That's right. You guys had a team. Jensen um, used to play. Right? Jensen played a lot. Sheriff played a lot. Um, Greg Sheriff's dad basically did a ton of it. That's oh, really? Kind of, that's kind of where they all okay. Oh, okay. got into it. Brent Barbacus, I think, actually played there as well. Really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So. That's cool. I remember, so when I first started, I was actually here, I'm at, here at MLOR just for a short time, maybe. I think it was less than a year. Yeah. But then we got moved up to contractor seat and cooling, so that's when I got to know a lot of the people up there. And yeah. I, I remember... You guys talking about? I don't know if you were playing at the time, but just softball and everything. Yeah. And that's actually when I kind of first met you, unfortunately. Yeah, that was what 10, 12 years ago. Yeah, and then we you started to try and play jokes on me, and it didn't work. I well. never would play a joke on you. So this guy, <laughs> this this guy was the I one. Would never play a joke. Oh, you put the box on my desk. Oh, is that with the hole in the bottom, like the, the volcano? Yeah, yeah, it didn't have anything. It wasn't taped. But it had all the styrofoam peanuts in it, oh. and so I'm like, oh, I'm like, what the heck is this? So I go and pull it up, and all the all peanuts just go. <laughs> so I'm like, all right, who did this? And I, so I went over there. And I mean, I wasn't mad, but I went over there. And I'm just like, okay, who did it? And which one of you idiots? Everybody did this? was just like, uh, Ron. Uh, Ron. <laughs> they sold you out immediately. And actually, I think that was when Bob started. Okay. And I think I accused Bob just for fun, just like messing around with him. And to this day, like I like I still won't let it down. I'm like Bob, I remember what you did. To me. <laughs> and so he's still just, anyways. But to get back at you, didn't I think I took your phone, didn't I? Mm-hmm. I think I took it and I put it up in the ceiling. Oh, you did. You put it up in the ceiling. Oh, like it was, the, the office. It was beeping <laughs> above office. above the. I put ceiling. it up in the tile, and dude, it was hilarious. We drive me crazy. He couldn't figure it out. <laughs> he could not figure it out. And then I think we kind of realized, hey, <laughs> We've we're, this is escalating we're, we're really going to have a truce because this could get really it, bad really quick. Escalations and dangerous. He's a prankster over there, and oh, everybody yeah. knows that. But everybody just kind of take, you know, they take it. I'm, it goes th- back and forth. But I'll throw it back at him. I think we, I felt like we had kind of a understanding that we would do. Anyways, it was not. It was in our best interest not to mess with <laughs> each other. Let's yeah. just keep to our sides of the building. That's funny. It's so, gonna, gonna go too far. So Some, what, somebody's gonna get hurt. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So what brought you to the heating industry? Um, so I guess we should tell people you, what you do here. You're sales manager over heating and cooling residential. Correct. For Utah, you go up in Idaho also. I do go up in Idaho. Correct. Um, so you have how many salespeople report to you? Um, ten or eleven. Okay. I'd have to count them up. So there's. There's basically three and a half. Ian does both heating yeah. and up out of Pocatello. So there's there's the three and a half out of out of uh, Idaho. Idaho. Yeah. And then there's like seven down here. Okay. So, uh, so what brought you into the industry? Um, funny story. Um, I was working at the Bank of American Fork mm. in Alpine. Back at the day, they only had the two bran- two branches. Oh, yeah. The one in Alpine, the one in in American Fork. And I was working part time, and I was going to school, and uh, I was turning out of age when I was coming off my mom's insurance. Yeah. And for some odd reason, I felt like I needed insurance. Yeah. And so a friend of mine, uh, Brett Pack, I don't know if you guys remember Brett Pack. I don't. He uh, was working at uh, Contractor Supply, and he mentioned that they were looking for a driver, and so Isn't it's it how it starts. Yeah, it uh, is. Constantly starts that way. So, so. you got in that way. I. I f- when you're going down the Bank of American Fork, it's like, oh, Gunther's. Correct. Like you're going to go to the Gunther route. Yeah. And no, it's not that. You went, you came straight from there to I here. went from there to here. Were you a teller or what I were was. You? Okay. I, was a, I was the bank teller in the afternoon. Okay. How did you count past 10? <laughs> oh, I. Uh, Sandals. I only had to be <laughs> presentable from the waist up. <laughs> 
sandals. Sandals. I have my sandals yeah, on. There so. there's, there's a funny story about that. I'll, I'll have to tell you if we have time. Yeah. But, but uh, anyway, so I, I came over and applied with Ellis Hall right out in yeah. you guys remember yeah, Ellis. Yeah. And I remember him, uh, one of the things he said to Brett, and if you know Brett, you'll think this is funny, but he turned and he says, do you think a bank teller can do this kind of work? <laughs> you know, and uh, I still remember that. But oh, that's funny. That was uh, September of 1992. Wow. So 32 years ago. Yeah. I was nine years old. Mm-hmm. So did you... You, you started as a driver. How long were you a driver? Oh, you know, I drove. I was doing the local runs. We would do the, we'd go south in the morning and go mm-hmm. north in the afternoon. I did that for, um, well, driving probably maybe three, four years. Yeah. Uh, and then I ended up uh, running the warehouse. Yeah. Um, doing dispatch and running the warehouse. Yeah. We yeah. did everything at, yep. back in the day. I yep. mean, it was unloading the trucks, doing all the shipping. Receiving. Receiving. Yep. It was all we did. And we did it all by hand. I mean. Yep. I feel the guys now they pull the forklift in and pull the whole stacks of pipe off, and yep. we were we were unloading pipe bundle by bundle and elbows bundle by bundle and furnaces yeah. one at a time. And crazy! It was mm. way different. Yeah, and that was over here at the ag building. That correct? was at the ag building over yeah. there. Mm. Correct. Yeah. So, wow. Um, and so you did. You worked in the warehouse, and then did you go to sit counter sales? No, I went. Uh, I went. From the warehouse into commercial estimating. Okay, yeah. So at the time, um, Mark Spencer, who now has yeah. come back with us yeah. back down in St. George, George, he was the commercial uh, department manager at the yeah. time. So I went up there, and, and Marion Turley was there. Oh, yeah. Gary oh, yeah. Abbott was there. Yeah. If you guys still remember them. God bless. Yep, I love them both. Yeah, Gary's, Gary's a good man. Good egg. So, yeah. uh, so we went up, and I did that for a number of years. Um Gosh, I can't remember. That was for actually probably quite a long time. Um, we we were here, and then I don't know if you guys remember. Do you remember the little joint venture? TCS? That, with the, well, no. Mm. It was kind of before that when uh, CHOR and HVSL put their commercial departments together. Uh, and we must had, have been before my time. We had a store, a, a office over in Lehigh, off Lehigh Main Street, right oh, yeah. next to where really? Standard is now. Really? I didn't know that. Yeah, we had a little... A lower office, and there was five or six of us that were they over did there. estimating over there. Did all of the commercial bidding out of the, out of that? Interesting. So, yeah, I so had no idea. What happened to that? What it it um, it never. The hardest part was how do we bill it? Wow. Because at the time we were two separate companies. Right. Yeah. yeah. HVSL was definitely them, and CHOR was was us, or you know, contractor supply. Right. And uh, so it was hard to kind of divide up. The work. A, the sales yeah. and the expenses. Right. And uh, uh, you guys, I know you guys remember Lyle Patton. Oh, yeah. yeah. He he was he was always kind of like, well, how are you guys going to do this? And yeah. It, it ended up. He was very, he was always concerned with process. Yep. Like, and how's that going to work? How's that going to work? How are you yeah. going to divide this? And so um, it, it kind of, um, I don't know, just the. It just, just dissolved. It just kind of dissolved and then everybody kind of went back. But at the time we were trying to. We were trying to not compete against each other, right? Because we were obviously competing with different, and we we're the same company, but we weren't the same company, right? Yep. And so it was, it was so a good idea at the it's time. It's hard though, yeah. And and that's what we discovered when we were the four companies, you mm-hmm. know, and that's what kind of led us to the consolidation. Oh, it, I you, to 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 cost share across companies uh, so difficult. Oh, it was our biggest our biggest expense, and you guys know this was our biggest account was was HVSL yeah, and yeah. Ba- vice versa. Yep. And it was like you're trading money and you're, Dude, you're, you're trading you're, inventory. And you're, yeah. you're, you're preaching to the choir on that yeah, one, that man. Was, that I was remember doing the reconciliation and stuff like just seeing that and then the payments going back, back and, and forth. Back and forth and you're like, this is the stupidest thing that man, we're doing. That was, but you had to do it. You had no yeah. other choice. Exactly. Mm-hmm. No other recourse. And it was horrible for the for the customers. Yeah. yeah. Because there was a gentleman's agreement that they wouldn't chase ours and we wouldn't chase theirs. Right. And yet, when either one of them went into the other branch, you'd have to call and get a PO. And, yep. and the guys hated it going, yep. customers hated going into each. Well, and the same thing store. existed between uh, Mountain Land and contractors and Mountain States and yeah, HVSL. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All you four. Had, yeah, you had plumbing companies that also did HVAC and vice versa mm-hmm. that are trying to buy all these products. And, and we like, made it hard for them. Don't you guys have a, another company across the tracks over here? Well, yeah, but, you know. It you made, didn't it, want to share. made it hard. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nope. So 
how so then you went into outside sales after that? Um, I was commercial. I would. I ended up becoming the commercial manager, and like in two thousand seven, two thousand eight, when we got Carrier, yeah, that was when they approached me and asked me to go outside. Okay, so that's when I went outside. Um, was basically what sixteen, seventeen years ago. Yeah, yeah. Wow. So, and then you did that until four years ago. Is that how long you've been in management? Three, three and a half. Three and a half. Okay. Yeah, it was uh, February, March. I think it was April 1st, of all things, was like, I think when it officially became. It sounds about right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we were trying to play a joke on you, but you took it too serious. Oh, my gosh. That was a big decision. I didn't, yeah. Yeah, so how how did you go through that decision? Because that's a huge change. It was, obviously, it was completely out of the blue. Oh, yeah. Didn't see it coming. Obviously, there was some changes that were made that yeah. opened up the spot. And Mike reached out to me, uh, Mike Jensen, and said, you know, asked me, because at that point, Mike was managing all of it, all of the sales. Mike was at managing all the sales, but there was another sales manager. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that yeah. was underneath right. Mike. Yep. Um, and so, well, there was two because Tim was still down in St. George. Oh, yeah. yeah so there was Tim right. yep. and I can say Kellen. Yeah. Was, yeah, 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 for sure. There was Tim and Kellen. Uh, anyway, uh, that spot opened up and, uh, you know, I thought about it. And my wife and I talked about it. And, you know, after 14 years of, you know, Doing the same thing over and I over. I really enjoyed it. Yeah. I mean, and, and part of the biggest challenge in taking it was I, I felt like I was going to lose my relationship with the customers that I had because yeah. they were like my buddies and oh, they yeah. still are. Yeah. You know, and so I, I, you know, says, yeah, let's give it a try. Yeah, yeah. it's, it's, um, that's, I think that's a cool thing about Mount, mountain land in, a, in general is that people can see something in you that you don't see in yourself. And if you're willing to take that leap, it usually pays off, you know. Same thing with management with you, you know. Like, well, I, I can see something in you that you, maybe you're not seeing. I know you're comfortable in this position, but would you like to try this and stretch a little bit? It's kind of cool. Yeah, it, it's been it's been a good stretch. It yeah. definitely is. Yeah. We've yeah. had some good successes with it. <laughs> yeah. Every once in a while, you know, there's times that doesn't quite work out. I, I would say they're really few and far between. Yeah. But, but most of the time it's, you know, usually when we see someone in, we want some, you know, like, hey, we really see that that this is a good move for you. Then, mm. you know, works out. Unlike what most people think, we actually do think about it. <laughs> we do <laughs> throw a dart at the it. wall and see if it hits Hogan's head. And yeah. I, I would tell you that, you know, if anything, we're um, we try and slow that process down to make sure that it is a right fit and that it yep. is a good move. Because when you start doing that with people, you're messing with their lives. Yep. And so you got to just make sure that, hey, yeah, this is the right decision. And that, you know, six months we're not going to say nah, that was a bad decision. Yank him out Oops, and yeah. start yeah. over. Yeah, you yeah. can't you can't really do that. So you got to make sure that it's right. So and Did it you, was it was a good decision to have you yeah to ask you to do that. And I hope hopefully on your side. I was going to say I'm. Mean, you've liked you, you it guys too. tell me if I'm doing a good job. So <laughs> did you have that same concern when you went into management? You were going to lose the relationships with your customers. When I went from outside sales yeah. to yeah, I yeah. did absolutely. And that's the that's the thing that a lot of people don't realize is that it's all relationships, mm-hmm. you know, it's not just, you know, you're selling to somebody. We're not a, we're a return sales business. You know, we rely on the relationships to continue selling. It's not just, Hey, I got a hot lead. I sold it. I'm out. Yeah. It's not a one and done. Yeah. It's not, yeah. it's not your standard sales role. You're, you're out there engaging with these people every day and every project that they have. So just by nature, you just have developed these super deep relationships. Mm-hmm. And to vacate from that, that's how I felt when I went into management. Yeah, yeah it's it was not, hard. It's not, I don't know if it was completely vacating it, yeah. but obviously my day-to-day, my day-to-day routine is I'm not calling on these guys yeah. every day yep. like I was. Now, when they walk into the counter, oh, absolutely, absolutely right I, I'm right on in it and I, I have a relationship. I, yep. I get to reach out to them. I see them. You know, a lot of the trips we do are with the guys that you've always that been I've with. always met, which yeah. is awesome yeah. and awesome. But at the same time, it's not as close yeah. as, as it was. Well, and then you have to watch somebody else do the job you used to do. You have to kind of stand back. Yeah. It's, been, it's been hard for me because um, obviously everybody does it different. Yeah. And, and so... And everybody relates to people differently. And people yeah. that maybe I hit it off with 100%, the new guy or the replacement, they don't hit it off. Right. And I understand that. And they're still doing their job And they're really still well. doing their job. They're doing great, yeah. you know. And yet I still get these calls on occasions like, hey, I'm like, well, you know what? He, It's different. Yeah. It, it is. It's no, no wrong, nothing wrong or, or right. Yeah. 
Well, the cusper has been trained too for the past oh, 16, 17 years, years that, yeah. hey, yeah. this is how it's supposed to work. And then you have a new guy coming in, yeah. they do it different, like you say, and it's like, ooh. Well, okay. There's nothing wrong. It's just different. different. It's, it is. And so that's even hard for the customer too to say, yep. hey, well, wait yeah. a minute. I'm not used to this. Yeah. What's going on? Yeah. He Ron, help me out here. He yeah, doesn't answer right? my call at seven o'clock at night. And well, I can't expect him to answer your call yeah. at seven o'clock every night. Yes, I did. Yeah. You know, but, yeah. but, but yeah. Leave him a message. He'll get back to you. Yeah. You know, some people don't want to do that. Yeah. yeah. It's hard. So what would you say is your favorite part about your new role as sales manager? Oh, the favorite part. I love the people that I work with. Yeah. Um, and I like the, the, I like being able to kind of look, look out, maybe step back, see a bigger picture. Yeah. I, I enjoy that. Yeah. I really enjoy looking and seeing what, what's happening up in Idaho. Yeah. The, the the choices and and uh, and the progress and the growth that we're making, I kind of yeah. kind of take that as my little baby up there. Yeah. Because, um, you know, it's it fresh. Started, it's brand it's new. fresh. It's brand new. Yeah. I got a. I had a real good, real big, uh, um, hand in picking the people that are up there and the products and the yeah. product. Yeah. yeah. And so, it's good to see that 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 kind of come to fruition and yeah. and start to grow and start to. The traction starts to take off. Yeah, so. the the strategic part of it is fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's playing playing a different type of game. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It, and it's a bigger it's a bigger picture game. Yeah, different scale. Mm-hmm. We, yeah. we talk about this a lot. You, you hear me say it quite a bit, but you get to see your fingerprint on that. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. that, it's like, oh yeah, I had a part in part that. Of that. And, yeah. that. And it's you it, know, may, it, it may be indirect, but definitely you had a part in it. Exactly, yeah. and that's mm-hmm. fun to see that take off and say that you had a part of it, that you helped that. And even though like, and then to step back and see someone else kind of take it over too and take that to the next level. Yeah, you know, but, man, you just applaud them and just say, that's, that's awesome. Yeah. You want that. So, well, and we all, I've, I've said this before, but we all stand on the shoulders of the person who went before us. Oh, hundred percent. So that, that base was not built by us, but mm-hmm. we get the opportunity to take it to a new level and you can be proud of that base and then watch somebody else take it to that next yeah. level. Cause that, that is enjoyable. No, that's correct. So along those same lines, if you could talk to a person that's just starting at Mountainland, what would your advice be to them? Well, this kind of goes back. I, my, my, my little saying that I say all the time is, is work hard, play hard. Yeah. And, uh, when it's time to work, work, Yeah. but you don't have to, you can have fun while you're working. Oh, you yeah. know? I mean, yeah, we did a lot of tricks and, <laughs> and stuff like that. And we Keeping still, it light. we still do. Keeping it By light. the way, I think we ended up in a pool together once. Unfortunately, that, <laughs> down in Mesquite. That one down time. in Mesquite, but, yeah, we did. And then we couldn't get Lance Erickson in, but we, well, don't want to ru- don't want to ruin his shoes but, <laughs> or, or his hair. His, <laughs> his last, man last, butt. Well, I don't. He doesn't have the man butt anymore. Not anymore. Right? Last time we went down there, we had we had to make sure what was told. Nobody goes in the pool. <laughs> We're not doing that again. So, we learned our lesson the last yeah, time. That was bad. So, yeah, I, but that model, dude, that. You totally lived that. Yeah. And for better um, or for worse, I think. So I think it's for better. No. And I mean, I've seen that getting to know you over the years. And I'll, I'll tell you that I have a riot around you. So. And the other thing, too, is you see the people, our employees, the yeah. people that you work with every day, they see that. Mm-hmm. And then more importantly, our customers do too. And they really enjoy that. And I mean, what that does, and I've seen that is when you walk into a room, when you're, when you're more down at these conferences, things like that, you know, people do have, they have a sense of respect for you. You know, sometimes and, I feel like it's a little lightning rod that I come in. <laughs> sometimes I wish I could be a little more anonymous, but unfortunately uh, my personality. Have, I was going to say, you'd have to change a lot, but My personality kind of doesn't allow myself to be anonymous. Well, but, you know. But I think people appreciate that and they love you about that. I mean, yeah. I've seen, I've heard, I've gotten so many compliments about you. I've seen how people interact with you. I mean, you can tell that there's a respect and there's a love there for you. Okay. And I mean, it says a lot. And what a great ambassador of our company well, to be able you. to do that. So you've always been, I, as far as my interaction, you know, up until now, you've always been a person who will speak out, and that's something I've always admired about you is that you're not afraid to ask a question. And a lot of people are afraid; they're afraid to look foolish or to look incompetent. But that's not asking a question does not make you look that way. I was going to say, do, do I look incompetent? No, no it, it, I, but um, even the contrary. You know, if I have a question about anything in HVAC, I always call you. Mm-hmm. Because not only because you know you know it and you know, I know I'm going to get my answer, but because you keep it light. 
Yeah. It's nothing's nothing's too. You take the job serious, but you don't take yourself serious, and I really appreciate that about you. Thank you. Yeah. <coughs> All right, we'll wrap it up with that, bud. Okay. But yeah. thank you so much for coming on. All right, well, thanks for having me. Hey, so. it won't happen again, but thanks. I know it won't, which is okay. <laughs> so. I, you need to know we love you, man. So, well, I love yeah. you. appreciate all you do. Love you, buddy. You're right. a good man. Okay. All right, everybody. Thank you for coming. Hey, along I, with the I ride. do have I do have one more. Well, thing. All right, oh, I figured you would. There it is. Just go Red Sox, even though. Oh, Red Sox. you son of! <laughs> oh, what? Go what? Go to the beach? They're going to go to the, the beach. They're going to do something. That, they sure as hell ain't going to the World Series. If you uh, you can reap for the Yankees. We're in your same division. You know what? There's there's like the two lesser of two evils. What am I going to pick? <laughs> the Yankees. Oh, well, half my half the Red Sox team is now on the Dodgers. That's true. Yeah. That's true. That's true. That's okay. You can. We'll just say Yankees, and you'll be good with okay, it. Okay, whatever. <laughs> All right, love you, bud. All right. All right. Thanks everybody for riding along. We'll catch you on the next trip. Have a good one. <laughs>